Hello YouTubers, this is EAS3964 here, uh, another AWIPS tutorial coming your way. Today I'm going to be showing you, uh, actually today I'm making two videos. The first is um, what I'm going to be doing here, and the next one will be uh, color tables with an AWIPS. Uh, that will be recorded here in a couple of minutes. Um, anyway, first uh, first thing I want to show you is how to get um, how to get storm relative motion into AWIPS. Um, as most of you are probably familiar with, if you use AWIPS at all and have uh, have a baseline knowledge of uh, of meteorology, is that it is likely it is that uh, velocity products are uh, usually done at base base level, and algorithms usually handle uh, converting that into storm relative motion. So to change that, what we're going to do is we're going to come up here to radar and click next red stations. If you don't know the next red station nearest you, uh, go to your local weather forecast office, and then once it populates, go over here to maps and click WSR88D station locs. Uh, that'll load a map full of uh, station locations for WSR88Ds. Closest one to me is uh, KIND in Indianapolis. So we'll go ahead, go to the radar, next red stations, and KILX to KLGX, KIND, and we'll go ahead and load KIND SRM, storm relative motion, and we'll choose the one that we want to use. Hello. So, uh, you can see this has already been calibrated. Uh, I'm actually going to go ahead and load the, um, the base velocity as well to show you the difference. Um, so if we switch between, if we switch between these two, uh, one takes into account storm motion and the other doesn't. So how do we take into account storm motion? Well, switch back over to the storm relative motion and you'll see that it does give me a track 254 at 32 knots. Well, how do you change that? Go up here to tools, go to distance speed, and that gives you the distance speed tool uh, along with this little drag me to feature. It's very a la Warnchen except it doesn't say storm, it says feature. We'll drag this to a uh, random velocity couplet or Whatever you're working with, this can be all, this can be applied with um, with reflectivity as well. So we'll drag it, and it's really not liking the uh, it's really liking this. Anyway, uh, we can back it up a couple frames. It's much like uh, following your. It's much like following or er, finding um, finding a storm motion vector in uh, in Warn Gen. We'll drag it. We'll drop it and we'll find a storm motion vector and you'll find that this uh, storm relative motion will change based on storm motion. Let's make it go due south and we'll give it some astronomical rate and it says air receiving storm tractor. That's new. Um, so it must be something related to uh, to AWOS, but in retrospect it would change this um, it would change the um, it would it would change the uh, the velocity to match what your storm motion was. So that's how you find storm relative motion within AWIPS. Hopefully this has been helpful. Um, I'll probably end up redoing this this tutorial because it was not the best. Um, and I will see you guys later.